Greetings! In today's video, I have the fourth showcase of the products of Regal Dynamics. The first one brings me to the ocean, for this is the catfish. I called it the catfish because I build spaceships and this is just a ship. It made Russell very happy. <laughs> Hopefully he keeps being happy with it uh, after having seen all of the things that I've done to it. But, um, yeah. <laughs> so, it has guns. Many of them. It holds a cruise speed of 58 kilometers an hour. If I press Z, it goes up to 107, 108 kilometers an hour for its full power speed, which is pretty nice. Let's start with the side weaponry. It has these little pew pew guns which are basically anti-air. I can turn them on and then I can have them do this back and forth animation, which is pretty cool. I have my main batteries, but we're not talking about those yet. In the front of the ship, there's a giant array of blasters that basically will shred anything in your path, or at least that's the idea. It has shields, but I will keep them turned off because Russell might kill me otherwise. And other than that, we can talk about the main batteries, which are the three big guns, double barreled, and I can operate them independently in any order I please. Also, I can, I can operate the third guns swiveling independently as well, so that I may broadside effectively, even at an angle, as such. Yeah. This is my first proper attempt at a boat in many, many, many hours of Trailmakers, and I'm not disappointed in it, which is awesome. <laughs> I think it's pretty okay. Other than the shields, it'll be, it'll be fine. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. The next build for today is going to be a proper spaceship, not a catfish. A sea dragon, in fact. I call it a sea dragon because, I mean, look at it. You know why I called it a sea dragon. <laughs> it's got a proper flight mode, which gives you full control over yaw and pitch and roll. And it allows you to do a whole bunch of maneuvers, which are not entirely under your control because the very awkward shape of this creation means that the hover pads are, are really sometimes just not happy with you at all. I will need to revisit this in the future and make a version that doesn't want to take control away from you. The main attraction of this is, well, it can transition into a more stable mode, a, a mode that takes away your control of yaw but it means that you have more control over where you're facing and it means you can aim your many many blasters downward at whatever's looking at you and well destroy them <laughs> because i have eight blasters on this four per side and whoever it is that's in front of you does not stand a chance <laughs> then i can descend and show you the landing gear opening up and that will be it for the sea dragon the third and fourth build in this come as a bit of a pair. This is the swordfish. It is the older brother of the pair. It's a plane, as you can see. The swordfish is basically the result of me seeing a bunch of my friends build really powerful dogfighters and wanting to compete with them to a degree. So it's got this nice delta wing shape. It's got the inverse angled vertical stabilizers. It's got pitch controls built directly into the wings, and it has vector thrust. All of this helps make it a very competent dogfighter. In addition to that, I have a fair amount of weaponry, and I can hold control to basically triple my pitch angle and become a spinning top in the sky. 
The final attribute to this, uh, if you might call it that, is that it does have shielding. Beyond that, we move to the next creation, which is the successor to the swordfish. This is the marlin. The marlin, as you can see, is a lot thicker, bigger, heavier than the swordfish. It maintains its vector thrust. It loses the, its delta wing shape. It has more traditional control surfaces in the back and vertical stabilizers. It maintains its shields. The marlin moves a lot faster than the swordfish and has more weaponry. In addition to that, where the swordfish doesn't have yaw, the marlin does, next to bleedingly fast acceleration. The marlin has its shields. It has other defensive measures, as you will see underneath the wings. There's these red tail lights that I painted as a glowing color because I do in fact have flares that I can detach off of my plane and use in two batches of four as defensive measures, basically. You can, you know, you have your shields up, you hide amongst the flares, you make it harder for the enemy to target you, so on and so forth. The Marlin held the title of King of the Skies for a total of four days, which is really cool to me because I'm busy fighting people like Ion who've worked on the same plane for six months and, you know, I, I don't do that. <laughs> and so I'm really happy with the Marlin and with its performance. Then, of course, people began to build better improvements to their planes or build better planes overall and the marlin was eventually swamped by everybody but to commemorate the fact that it was the king of the skies i have well this which is a bunch of little skulls indicating all the people that i fought and won against <laughs> and i really enjoyed my time fighting especially the the top left one yidify Yidify's, the fights against Yidify were extremely fun and they were harrowingly difficult and it was just a joy to be able to do air combat against him. Speaking of OP builds, the final one for today is the Tiger Shark Mark IV. If you go back and watch the older Regal Dynamics videos, there is a Tiger Shark Mark I. And, well, it has a lot of guns. This one improves upon that and has more guns. <laughs> That's basically the main point of this ship, is I wanted something that can just point itself at an enemy and completely just decimate them into oblivion. It has an ungodly amount of shields. Unfortunately, they have to be beans. I really don't like that the shields are beans, but the Tiger Shark Mark IV is too large and so it had to have beans. I am incredibly upset about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, many weapons, many rockets, in an okay top speed, considering it's really heavy and really big. One of the things to note about the gun configuration on this is that, well, it, you know, it can be angled up, but it can be, uh, I have all the guns able to turn to the side on both sides. And then I've inserted logic so that I can angle them back with the same buttons. Basically, I was being chased around by a plane, which was Ion in the plane, as always, because he's always in planes. I love him, by the way. <laughs> I was basically I was being chased around by Ion flying a plane and I couldn't get my nose on him because as you can see the tiger shark turns like it's made out of bricks because it is and so I, I needed to add in some logic in order to aim behind myself and make it so that planes would have a far harder time evading my shots even when chasing me and being agile near me. I've basically reduced my blind spots by, you know, 80% by being able to aim behind because I can roll and then all of a sudden all of the guns are aimed below me. I can 
I can roll the other way and, and aim them all up above me. And uh, it basically makes it really hard to even chase this thing and, and be behind it. But yeah, and there you go. That has been the fourth showcase of the products of Regal Dynamics. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the future.